In this movie, we're going to calculate our total savings in three years if we save $100 each year for three years. <clears throat> now, this problem is described by a flow chart here on the left, where here we're describing the start of the program, then it goes in to set the years saved to zero because we haven't saved for any years yet. Uh, zero is assigned to money at the start and then we go to see if the year saved is less than three. Now of course if we haven't saved for three years we want to then add one to the year saved and add a hundred to the money and go back to check if this is true or false. If it's true you're going to follow the same route here otherwise if it's false you're going to go down to this part here this symbol is an input output symbol uh, it's used if you're going to do any input or any output in your code and here we are going to output the years saved and the money and then the code has ended now if we write this code <coughs> this flowchart into python 3 code it looks like this so at this box here, we're going to do this code here. This box here, we're doing the code here. And now here is our while loop. This is the while loop here. This is the condition, which is either true or false. And if this is true, we're going to add one to the year saved and store the result in year saved. And we're also going to add 100 to the money and assign that new result to money and then keep repeating while this is true. So now on the right I'm going to show you how the values of the variables change as we go from the start to the end of the program code. So if you were asked in a quiz or an exam what is going to be the output when this program runs you're not going to have the luxury of a computer with you so you will need to keep track on paper of these values of the variables so if you have a nice handy table here um, you're going to keep track of the two variables which is years saved and money now at the beginning of the code the very first line we set years saved to zero and we set money to zero if this is true these two lines are executed which means we're going to add one two years saved and add 100 to the money so years saved used to be zero zero plus one is one so we store one for the value of years saved then we check again to see if this is true or false now one is less than three so this is true so again we're going to add one to the years saved add a hundred to the money then go back to see if this is still true now two is less than three so again we're going to add one years saved add a hundred to the money and then we go back to see if this is still true so now years saved now is three and this is three three is less than three now that obviously is false three is not less than three so this condition here has a value of false now that means that these two lines which are indented will not be executed that the next line to be executed will be this one so and that happens to be the last line where it's going to print the current values of the year saved and the money. So I'm expecting when this program runs it will show me that the year saved is 3, that's the last value of the variable year saved and for money it's going to print 300. So let's see if it does that now. So let's just review. Here we've got our flowchart the flowchart as a program is written like this. When this runs, I'm hoping that the program output will be these values here, 3 and 300. So let's now run the code. And there we can see that the output is 3 and 300, 
which is what we expected. So, flowchart, Python 3 code, and this is tracing the code to check on the value of the variables as the program goes from start to end. And hopefully that's given you some idea of how we plan a program with a flowchart or with an algorithm, convert that into a program code, run the code to get an output, hoping there are no errors in your code, and keeping a track of what's going on in your program by checking the values of variables as you trace through the code. And that's the end of today's movie.